When we've got models in our prisma schema that are related to one another, so for example, this author table here relates to a post table, and we do a query for that data, and we include or select whatever is related, it's going to be behind the scenes that that data is tied together and given back to us. Up until version 5.7 of Prisma, there was only one way to do this, and that was with application level joins. That's where we would send one query for author, another for post, and then Prisma would tie that data up under the hood. Most times it's more performant to let the database do the join work though. And as of version 5.7, we can tell Prisma to let the database do just that. To use it, let's come up here and grab the preview feature, preview features, relation, joins. And in case we don't even have a database yet, we can grab one over here at console.prisma.io. We can grab Prisma Postgres. Let's call it relation joins. Select Prisma Postgres and take the default region. Grab the database URL and the Pulse API key. Paste that into the environment file. Save that. Come down to the terminal, mpx prisma migrate dev. For the name, we'll just call it init. Looks like the migration is applied. Let's seed the database, mpx prisma db seed. And our data is created. Over in our call for posts, let's opt in to use database level joins. Relation load strategy is going to be join. Let's see what comes through to the console. npm run dev. This issues a single select query and a left lateral join to tie the data together. In most cases, we're going to get better performance by using database level joins, so we can opt into that. If you'd like to find out more ways to optimize your database calls, you can check out Prisma Accelerate, which is going to give you a fully managed connection pool and a caching layer.